The number one question I get right now on my channel is how can Wonderland continue to pay out its APY? So there's some tricks with that. I want to answer that. And then how reliable is Wonderland? And we've got a little bit of background on Wonderland and how reliable it is. So we're going to cover that in today's brief show. We're going to be really quick this morning because you should DYOR. You should be doing your own research. But I do have, I'll have links below. You can check out those links and do your own homework and read what I've read to interpret how they can continue to do this. What if the price tanks? If the price tanks, aren't you losing your shirt? Well, the difference between a lot of crypto investors is that they're not really investors. They're people who have never really invested in or just taken a crapshoot that maybe their investment will moon and they're looking for mooning cryptocurrencies. But to investors, we understand that sometimes there's price action, sometimes there's intrinsic value, and sometimes there's compounding. And so I wanted to share this with you real quick. Let's actually look at the Wonderland page. So really quick, if you look here, this is actually from the basics in the FAQ. This is really an interesting article for you to read. Let's say you buy time at 400 right now. It's closer to 8,000. Buy it for 400 now, and the market decides that in one year, the intrinsic value of time is only $2. Yeah, they're saying in this hypothetical, if you went down to $2, what would that be? Assuming a daily compound interest rate of about 2%, your balance should grow to about 1,300 time. And by the end of the year, it's still worth 2754. Now, is that anywhere near your 87,000% return on your original investment of 400? No, of course not. It's a decent return with a decent economic model. The reason time looks like it's at seven, eight, nine thousand is for minting reasons and staking reasons. We can talk about that as it actually increases the power of the treasury. But even if your $400 investment tanked to $2 in any other crypto. You would have bailed out. You would have dumped and you would have said, oh, rug pull, total rug pull. But if you actually look at the compounding in this particular case, you can actually see that even if it tanks to two, you're still sitting on a massive return relative to your initial investment. In essence, the underlying economic model is actually super powerful. So the other thing I wanted to point out is runway. Someone asked, hey, what's the runway? How long will the party last? Like with any meme coin or altcoin, you know that the party's going to be over. Whether or not it's a rug pull or whether or not it just falls apart as a project doesn't really matter. At some point, the party's over. And as long as it's not fundamentally necessary to the ecosystem and has utility, chances are it's going to end at some point. I believe Ethereum is going to be around a long, long time. I believe Solana, MetaHero, and a lot of these cryptocurrencies that actually have pretty strong utility, I believe they'll be here after the bubble. A lot of people are calling for the bearish market, bull market, bear market. doesn't really matter. In every new fad, if you were around for the early internet push, if you were around for the second internet wave, if you were around for the real estate wave of 2007, you know that there's a massive increase of wealth. There's a bubble and then there's survivors. And in this case, the survivors are cryptocurrency survivors. Some of them might go away. At some point, a lot of these cryptocurrencies have to fail if they don't have utility. I'm watching a lot that will have long-term viability. But in the case of Wonderland, it's kind of categorized with all coins. I don't think the party's going to go on forever. So I never asked the question, how can they sustain this? Well, how can they sustain it for a little while? at least. How can they sustain it for as long as humanly possible? And Wonderland does really good with telling you how long it can sustain. Right now, based on the treasury, based on the treasury balance, and based on the amount of currency staked, and based on the return of the rewards, where's our rewards? Boom. We can now have a runway of about 406 days. It is letting you know that this is how long it can last. Now, this has gone up by a few days since the last time I checked, and that's probably because there's more being minted. There are mint rewards as well, which you can see right here, and you can mint Wonderland. And as intrepid investors decide to buy in mint, the runway actually extends for everybody, even at this rate. So they often talk about not really paying as much attention as we pointed out in this article, not paying as much attention to the US dollar value of time at first, but they actually explain pretty well that for those who stake and bond, it creates absolute viability. It's a very strong currency so long as things are being minted, things are being staked, and things are being bonded. So much as the balance here, and they have a very interesting formula here 
of how the APY is calculated, which isn't actually that different from how APY is calculated with other projects. So I do I think Wonderland is the best investment out there? No, of course not. There's projects paying out way more. There's more stable projects. And remind you, watch one of my other videos for my stable projects like crypto lending and stablecoin lending. So I wanted to give you one other insight. And my big question with any of these projects are, are the founders doxxed or not doxxed? Are they anonymous or are they being featured? Have they been revealed to who they are? And I want to say that from the homework I've done, and I can link to this YouTube video right here from Alpha Only, that Danielle Sesta is the man behind Abracadabra, Popsicle, Wonderland, MIM, Spell, Ice, and other protocols. What I'm seeing here is that this Danielle is building out an entire ecosystem that supports one another and actually trying to build an alternate economy. So Daniel Sesta is also, let's actually look at his Twitter real quick. This is Daniel Sesta on Twitter. I'll have his link in the comments below as well. And you can follow. And of course, he links to abracadabra.money. So there is more and more resources doxing that this Danielle Sesta or Sesta Gali is the guy behind these. Now, does that mean it's not going to rug pull? Of course not. But anytime you have a project whose founders are represented or revealed, it actually reduces the risk a little bit because, hey, you and I would never want our reputation staked on something that we rug pulled. We would rather actually have our name attached to reputable projects so that we have future viability with other future projects. So in short, do I think Wonderland is a good investment? It's a risky investment, but it has a high return. And so far, I have made my return and then some, I'm already compounding pretty aggressively. And in the Discord, we're about to put together a project where we all go into a pool and pool our money into an LLC and actually invest as an LLC to accelerate our investment. Why? Because if we can get ahead of this thing, we're actually going to have a really good return. Do I think it's an actual legitimate attempt at a project? Yes. I don't think it's a meme coin or a shit coin meant to just throw something out there, hope that it takes in, and then collapse. I think there's an actual strong underlying economic model to Wonderland. So the, the the question started out with how can they afford to do this? The minting, the staking, and the APY are good and appealing enough. And they have burn mechanics that the time is actually attached to MIM. And it's not pegged to the MIM. It's backed by the MIM. So it will never go below one MIM. You can read more about that in the Wonderland FAQs, which I'll link in the comments below. So I think it is an actual viable project, 100%. If it all starts selling and collapsing, yeah, like any project that's fallen apart, I'm going to pull my money out. But I will, because the money invested, my money invested in time is money that I could afford to lose. I'm going to be riskier with how long I hold out in hopes that the project stays steady. Now, will I take profits? We can talk about profits and compounding in another video. But for now, I believe that the founders are becoming doxxed, if not doxxed already. I believe that the project has been paying out in terms of my compounding is happening right now. And just so you know, I started with 0.12 time or memo just four days ago. And so we're looking at another rebase in four hours where the memo that you've earned rebases and it compounds in an accelerated rate. They just pay you that compounding more rapidly and it compounds even faster. And even this rate has gone up. This actually started at a 9.5 about five days ago. And I've done the math and it is actually working out. And yes, if you watch my other video, you can see in my other video that I was able to unstake and move my money back to Trader Joe and get my cash out. I don't think that this is an intentional rug pull. If the project collapses, it could collapse, but I don't feel like that will be a rug pull. I do think that there's good intentions, there's a docs team, and they have a solid economic model. I'll put the comments below. That's it for today. Have a great one. Ask your questions below. We're going to do our homework, get you some little background research, and continue answering your questions. And let's talk about other investments. Let's talk about real estate investments. Let's talk about financial freedom. Feel free to ask your questions for that, but I know you guys are all hot to trot on Wonderland right now, so we'll answer those questions as well. Thanks. Have a great one.